welcome back to my channel. Um, hopefully you can hear me all right. I'm a little bit farther away than I normally am. Um, we've got ancient aliens paused behind me, but um, I did this video last year where I showed what I got for stocking stuffers for my family. So um, I figured I would do it again. So we'll just go through the box. Um, everybody's stuff is individually like Bag. That just makes it easier for me um, on Christmas Eve when everybody goes to bed. When I fill them, I can just pull the bag out and like open it and be like, okay, this is this person, this person. And um, you don't have to spend a bunch of money on stocking stuffers either. Uh, most of the stuff I got at Walmart, uh, a couple things at Target, but everything was very inexpensive. Um, there was one year when Mike actually got my stocking stuffers. He got stuff at Sephora, and so that was obviously more pricey, but don't feel like you have to go out and spend a bunch of money. Now I buy my own stocking stuffers, um, so I get inexpensive stuff because I'm trying to save money. Um, and I also wrap my own Christmas presents too. My husband orders my stuff online. When the boxes come, I literally just wrap them in the shipping boxes. Generally, I know what everything is, but he's not here like he's going to be home next wednesday so that's the day before um christmas eve i mean because what christmas eve is on friday like so he just doesn't have a lot of time so i've just gotten in the habit of doing it it's not a big deal so yeah i buy my own stocking stuffers stuff so i will show you what's in here for me as well everything's just in a box the box sits in my closet um, the first one, this one is Mike's best friend. Um, his best friend is going to move in with us. So if you watch, I should have the, the kind of vlog that I filmed of the inside of the house with all the Christmas decor. So if you see the stockings, there's a plain green one on the wall. That is his friend, David. So instead of getting him like a separate gift, again, we're on a budget. I said, well, let me just, since he has a stocking, let me just get stuff for his stocking and that can be his gift. So there's candy. Um, there's a couple of chocolate Santas, some Reese's like mystery shape, whatever. Um, marshmallow Santa. Um, Gillette shaving cream and all of this stuff, like all this men care stuff is all under like $5 a piece. So it is very inexpensive. There's the Dove. Um, body and face wash. Um, Mike likes this brand so that's and I just got the stuff that Mike uses and hopefully David doesn't care. Um, Dove deodorant for men and then Gillette um, aftershave gel and this was like two dollars. There's some more candy in there so inexpensive. I think I was able to do the whole stocking for roughly 20 like fill it so it's not bad. Um, Mike stuff I spent a little bit more just because it's my husband but I generally try and be inexpensive let's see this one is mine so there's socks these are from the Dollar Tree they're just the ones with the little grippies on them um, there's candy Mike does not like anything but Reese's so I got the extra marshmallow Santas in here because our three-year-old doesn't need them there's a couple of the Reese's ones but this is really the only candy that Mike likes. So he's got more of these in his. There's some Nightmare Before Christmas magnets. There's kind of a picture on the back. Um, a couple of chapsticks. There's a lip mask. Um, and then I got myself some pajamas. So they're like jogger style pants. What size did I get? Hopefully a big size. Yeah, okay, thank goodness. I got extra large because I am not small right now in any capacity. All of my clothes are like small and medium and it, it's horrible because nothing fits right now. It's not horrible that I was that small, but it's horrible right now because nothing fits. This is a large and this should be big enough because this is like an oversized large. But yeah, just I just got myself some pajamas because I don't need much, so... And a lot of the like kitchen gadget stuff I was looking at um, would not have fit in the stocking and it's kind of silly to buy stocking stuffer things that don't 
fit in the stocking. So I tried to get stuff that would actually fit in the stocking. The baby is out in her swing and she's crying, so I will be right back. I'm gonna get her to take a nap, so hopefully she will. Next, we have Diana's. Um, this, this is Peppa Pig. I thought Peppa was this size. She's, clearly she's not, she's real big. So this is actually gonna go with her um, gift from Santa, because clearly this is not gonna fit in the stocking. Make, so make sure when you order, because I ordered this stuff online, I didn't go in the store. Make sure you look at the dimensions. I never do that. This is not the first time that I've ordered something and it's not the size I was thinking in my head. So that's gonna go, I'm gonna stuff it in the closet um, with her gift from Santa, but I got, She's got a little penguin. Then this was out of like the dollar bin at Target. She's got a stuffed My Little Pony. This was my oldest daughter's and she's kind of gotten into My Little Pony. So I thought, you know, she hasn't actually played with this yet. I have a bunch of stuff for my oldest daughter. Um, so I thought I'll just stuff it in there. Um, so repurpose. These are from the Target dollar bin. She likes dinosaurs. So there's a little like Christmas Brontosaurus and a Christmas... Um, Tyrannosaurus Rex that I thought were cute. Again, they were a dollar. And then they had um, the little Disney ducks. My husband's favorite Disney character is Mike Wazowski. Um, his last name is Matelski, so I guess that was like a nickname when he was in high school. So I found Sully in the little duck. Charlie, leave the water bottle alone. And then Elsa from Frozen. She's got a little Christmas Stick. I think I bought this for myself last year and never used it, so it's going in there. Charlie, my cat is like obsessed with the water bottle, the water, you know, the pet water thing. We have a small one in the bedroom for him and our small dog, and he just has to like, and it's full. So I'm like, please do not knock it over. She's got some loose chapsticks. Again, all of these chapsticks came out of a set that I bought myself last year and I never used it, never opened it. It was my stocking stuffer that I picked out last year and I just never, so I broke it up. Um, so she's got most of them and I just kept three of them since she likes chapstick. So you can buy those sets and split them up and you can buy them like after Christmas, like the stocking like gift sets and just save them. Like most of that stuff is still gonna be good. Charlie, I think because it bubbles, he's like trying to get into it. Um, there's a couple of milk chocolate Santas and one marshmallow Santa. I don't know if she'll eat this. She does like milk chocolate and then she likes M&Ms. So this was from Target. And then I'm hoping this will fit in there. This is from the new My Little Pony that came out on Netflix. So it's the Sunny, the main character. So she's got that. So that is Diana's stuff. And then again, Peppa Pig um, will go next to her. Santa's bringing her a Blue's Clues scooter. So Peppa's gonna go next to the scooter because Peppa, again, is larger than I thought. So that's Diana. Um, I think this one's Emma's. I did, no, this is the pet. Okay, so for the dogs, um, for Aspen, we have Lamb Chop, and Evie has another Lamb Chop. I, I got different ones, even though, you know, it doesn't matter. They'll play with who's ever. Buster, our newest little addition, um, got that one for his. Um, for Charlie the cat, and then Aspen and Evie um, will each get one of these for, like, Chewies. There's a tree and a gingerbread. Um, Buster is a little tiny chihuahua. We inherited him from... My husband's aunt, she passed away recently. Um, his teeth are real bad, so he doesn't eat anything hard. He's had some teeth extracted already, so like his dry food, I put water on it and soften it up. I don't give him canned food because he has diarrhea, um, but he's very particular about treats. So I didn't get him, I just got him the one stuffed toy because he's still, dogs and cats, like change is really hard for them. So I, he's still adjusting, even though it's been a few months. Um, so I just got him the one toy for his stocking, but the Chewies, um, I don't think he would really chew on much anymore. Like I said, his teeth are bad. So this one is Emma's. So I just got a couple of things for her. 
Um, I got her, again, from Target. This was $3, the discount bin. And then I just got her the Mickey Mouse, which Diana's probably gonna steal anyway, but. And then she got one little, this is from Cocomelon. This is the brother. So it's a little fire truck with the brother, um, the older brother from Cocomelon. If you watch Cocomelon, you know. And then she has a giraffe Snuggy Patsy. Um, so I got her an elephant because what do you get a baby? So that is Emma's. And really, realistically, I didn't need to get her anything, but I felt bad not. So she's got like one gift under the tree from us and a couple of things in her tongue because she's a baby. Uh, my best friend Heather got her some clothes. She didn't wrap Emma's stuff, so that was nice. She's got stuff to open at my mother-in-law. She's got like 10 gifts. So again, it's one of those things where it's a baby. So Mike, again, only likes Reese's. So there's a bunch. I put most of, I just got a bag of these in there, a mystery shape. I got gave him most of them. He's got the Nivea Men Sensitive Soothing Post Shave Balm. Um, I found this. It's a car hauler, but it's, I guess it's not really a semi truck, but it's, you know, kind of, it's hard to find semi truck stuff. So this is a car hauler one. Like I said, it's hard to find the semi trucks. I think I, there was a couple of options. I think I tried to get the semi truck and it was one of those, like with Walmart, you didn't really get to pick just like with the Cocomelon car. They had five different ones and it was just whichever one they threw in, but I think he will like that. Um, and then there is shave butter. Um, he started using more of a straight razor style. So I got him that. He's got blades and stuff, so I didn't get him anything like that. But he likes um, like character socks. He's kind of gotten into that. So there's this pair that's kind of fun with like caution tape. And then this double pack, which is I got it on clearance at Target. I probably should take the stickers off. I don't think he cares. There's like polka dots. And then this one's got like alligators. So this one was $4.50. And then this double pack was $4 at Target. They had a bunch of stuff from last Christmas clearance. I got them in November, I think. And Emma starting to get upset again so I'm gonna go back out but yeah that was everything for everybody's stocking like I said again you don't have to get stuff that's expensive you can get inexpensive stuff I think it's more of the thought than the price tag of things so yeah let me know what you thought about the stocking stuffers this year do you guys do stockings let me know what you put in yours um hopefully you guys have a good Christmas if I don't post anything else before then and hopefully I'll see you in another video very, very soon. Bye, everybody.